Hello friends, happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing well and the midweek is uh, is treating you well and uh, you're on that downward slope to, to the weekend. Ah, uh, odd weather. We had, we were in the 40s today with very strong snow snowfall that of course amounted to nothing because we're in the 40s. Uh, just odd. Monday, we were in the 70s. I don't know. Seems like somebody broke the weather. It wasn't me. And I don't believe that I'm not one of these global warming people. There are cycles. We're in a cycle. But it sure is different. Ah. So I went back to work this week, which was a lot of fun. I actually got to see people in four dimensions, which is quite unusual. Uh, that was great reconnecting with some folks and, you know, just getting excited about everybody being back and having meetings and conference rooms again and stuff. It's, it's really cool. Uh, today, I, I have the flexibility to do this. I just because of my my calendar structure today, my schedule, it made more sense for me to stay home and work. Uh, and I got a lot done today, so I'm, I'm glad I'm able to do that when I can. But the nature of my job is requires me to be with people a lot, so I'm probably not going to be able to do it that often. Maybe once a week, maybe, maybe not, but we'll see. It's nice to have the option, though. So, today I've got the Wednesday basket pipe. I don't know anything about this pipe except that there's a marking on the stem that says Mexico. And uh, I think I paid under $20 for it when I bought it over 30 years ago. I broke the shank. This was one of my first major pipe repairs. And uh, yeah, it's been a good friend to me. And in the Wednesday basket pipe, which by the way is quite ugly. I mean, there's nothing, it's got some big fills in it and the finish is weird. And yeah, there's nothing necessarily beautiful about this. Look at that fill right there. That's coming through, but it's massive. Uh, but I just love it. You know, it's my friend. You, you overlook the flaws that your friend has. So in the Wednesday basket pipe, I am smoking. Uh, no, it's actually not Windjammer at all. It's something I'm experimenting with. This is, I'm just reusing the Windjammer tub here. Tin tub. It would be a tin if it had a tin lid on it, but for some reason I'm going to call it a tub because it's got a plastic lid on it. I don't know. So you know I love Haunted Bookshop. And have for a very long time. I've noticed it's it's burning faster. I don't know if that's me. Maybe I'm smoking faster. But it just seems that, you know, in a pipe that used to last me a good half hour, I'm now getting maybe 15 to 20 minutes out of it. But the flavor hasn't changed. No, it's yeah, I've heard some people say it's not consistent. I disagree. I think Haunted Bookshop is very consistent. There is, as I've mentioned many times, a period when it first arrives where it's probably very fresh and just needs time. So you put it away, you give it a week or two, six weeks at the most, and it's going to smoke just like every other batch of Haunted Bookshop you've ever had. Um, but I, yeah, I think it's very consistent. It's just sometimes you get it when it's still kind of a young blend. So I was thinking about the um, the burning issue that I've noticed, the, the fact that it's burning faster. And I decided to try mixing in some additional cube cut barley. So there's already cube cut barley in there. Cube cut barley is known for its slow burning characteristics. Um, so what I've done is this is a mixture of 
two parts haunted bookshop to one part cube cut early. And that's just a blending tobacco that I got from Smoking Pipes. This is Cornell and Deal's Cube Cut Burley. Their Cube Cut Burley is a bit less cube cut than others, so it's it's nice for blending. You know, those those really cube-like pieces sometimes just get, you know, they just settle to the bottom. But this is nice. It blends really well. It does slow things down. And I've made, this is, uh, I don't know, about that much and this is probably my third ball out of this tin. I did measure it but I had the scale set to grams and I don't remember. I think it might have been 20 grams of Haunted Bookshop, 10 grams of um, the Cube Cup Burley. The first time I made it I did an ounce of Haunted Bookshop and a half ounce of Cube Cup Burley. Uh, same ratio just different units. And, uh, yeah, so I've smoked through that much of it, plus a couple bowls out of this batch. And, you know, I, I like it. Now, this is, this is not a... So, I don't consider myself a blender when I do something like this, because a blender starts with component tobaccos and builds something new. I'm just mixing two things together. So this is a mix. It's not a blend, really. Uh... But I, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's very similar to Haunted Bookshop, which isn't surprising because we're just adding more of one of the components. It does smoke more slowly. It's got um, a bit more of those deep, burly tones to it, which I really like. But the sweetness and the perique are still there. So, yeah, interesting little experiment. hear my wife walking around up there and she's about to go out so she may yell down in which case I'll have to stop the video so I haven't decided what to call this um, I probably won't call it anything cause I'm just just experimenting but you know there's this tradition of the you know, haunted pirate ship and uh, we, we used to joke about uh, haunted vineyard for uh, Haunted Bookshop plus Captain Black Grape, uh, uh, Rusty Bookshop, when you mix Rustica and Haunted Bookshop together. So there, there was all these, uh, and most of them were just jokes, but Haunted, haunted Pirate Ship is a, is a uh, long-standing one that a lot of folks smoke, and that, of course, was put together by uh, our, our dear friend John Harden, Matches. So I, I don't want to elevate this to that point or anything by giving it a name, but it, it was kind of fun to think about, you know, would it be Haunted Cubes or Cubic Bookshop? Uh, I thought about Haunted Cubert, but I didn't know how many people would get that, because I'm old. But if you're a fan of Haunted Bookshop, I, I think it's worth a try. Although, I, you know, it's hard to improve on what... Um, Bob Bernowski did with with Haunted Bookshop. It's, it's, it's not an improvement by any stretch. In fact, if anything, it's a less enjoyable blend. I would rather, if I had a choice between this and Haunted Bookshop, I'd rather smoke Haunted Bookshop. But it's got some characteristics that I like in terms of it being a bit slower and having a bit more of that deep, burly flavor. So, I'll continue to play with it, at least until my Cube Cup Burley is gone. Which, by the way, is an excellent smoke on its own, if you've never tried it. If you like the uh, Codger over-the-counter type Burley blends, uh, imagine that without any topping. Uh, without any of the Virginia sweetness that you get in a lot of those. Uh, just good nutty Burley flavor. It's wonderful stuff. I like the idea of haunted cubes. I can easily imagine cubes with ghosts floating around them. By the way, have you any of you noticed that they changed the tin art for Haunted Bookshop? I don't know why they would do that. Um, the This is the original, and this is a bit grubby because it's my basement container here, but that's what the original looked like. And, and I always liked it because it was reminiscent of the... Uh, 
the novel onto a bookshop. The new one is um, sort of gothic lettering, all black, and in the background you can see there are books. So it's like a bookshelf, but there's also like a, a wrought iron grating in front of it, and then it says haunted bookshop. It's nice, you know, I, I, I think I'll get used to it in time, but I don't like change. Yeah, not a fan of change, but sometimes change is essential. And uh, oh, I forget who it was, somebody during the Iraq war, one of the generals, said, uh, if you don't like change, you're going to like irrelevance even less. So, a lot of truth in that. But change for change's sake is disappointing. So, we got a show coming up on Friday, a live stream, Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, all the normal shenanigans that uh, we've come to know and love. Uh, and as you can see, I've uh, developed a little bit of a thing for misheard lyrics. I don't know if anybody reads those things, but I have fun with them. So, I got a little bit more work to do. It's, uh, it's about half past four now. Uh, my work computer is going through an operating system upgrade, which may be disastrous, so this might be the last time I get to work. I'll get it fixed, but these things seldom go smoothly. So I got to check in on that and see what else might be going on. Plus, I know at any minute either the furnace is going to turn on and my wife's going to yell down the steps. So let's call this to a close. I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. I hope the rest of your week is wonderful and that you have a wonderful weekend. I also hope to see you on Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, for the live stream. So with that, folks, there's the furnace. Take care, and we'll talk soon.